Well, it's Patch Tuesday, and apparently this one is a doozy. If you're not familiar, Patch Tuesday is the name of Microsoft's once a month day on Tuesday where they release a bunch of different security updates. This typically occurs on the second, sometimes fourth month, uh, Tuesday of the month. And this time you can see, according to ZDNet, there's 123 vulnerabilities patched, and there's one in particular that is a major DNS one that we're gonna really focus on. But we can read through this real quick. So it says, this month's patch fixes a major wormable bug in the Windows Server DNS component. Now, you don't have to worry about this. I'll start right off the bat with that. Most of the time, you guys are probably not running Windows Server. You're probably running Windows, the operating system for your home desktop. But if you do run a Windows Server, then you probably may already know about this because it's so severe. But if you don't, then definitely pay attention. So the monthly security updates for Microsoft products, also known as Patch Tuesday, are out for the month of July 2020. This month, Redmond, talking about Microsoft, fixed 123 security flaws across 13 products. None of the security bugs fixed this month have been observed being exploited in the real world yet. I'll add yet. Now, the most dangerous, the most severe bug patched this month is a bug CVE 2020-1350 in the Windows Server DNS component. Discovered by Checkpoint researchers, the bug received a 10 out of 10 severity rating, and researchers say the bug can be easily weaponized to create a wormable, meaning self-propagating, malware, which could be catastrophic if it infected a organization. You know, all of their DNS servers could be infected. It says other important bugs patched this month also include remote code vulnerabilities in all of these different programs. We have Microsoft Word, Excel, Outlook. Now, it may seem like this is, oh my gosh, 123 vulnerabilities. Look at all these uh, security vulnerabilities. I don't think this is really that unusual. If you were to look at every single patch Tuesday and look through all the bugs that they patched, you'd probably be like, oh my gosh, how did all these exist? And most of the time, like this guy said, they have not found any of these exploits actually being used in the real world yet. So they're patching these really before anyone finds out about it. So you don't really have to worry about, oh my gosh, which ones did they not find yet? Yeah, there probably are some that they will discover and maybe have been used, but it, this is not like unusual. I'm not saying, oh my gosh, this is means Microsoft is so insecure. This is actually pretty typical. And it's good that they're patching this many vulnerabilities. So we can go to this next article that talks specifically about this Windows DNS server uh, vulnerability, and it's being called SIGRED, and it's a they're calling it a bug, but it's really, I mean, it is a bug, vulnerability, whatever you want to call it. And I think we can really read through this whole article. It's pretty good. Pretty much describes what's going on. It says, SIGRED vulnerability is highly dangerous, but it is being fixed as of part of the July 2020 Patch Tuesday update. All versions of Windows Server from 2003 to 2019 are vulnerable to the newly identified vulnerability dubbed SIGRED in Windows DNS, the domain name system service provided by Microsoft in Microsoft operating systems. Now, I don't know if this actually still applies to your home version of DNS. Probably not, because I don't think you're probably running a DNS server on like Windows Home or Windows 10 Pro or something like that. But theoretically, if that is built into a version of Windows, then maybe, but I don't think really any typical person has to worry about that. It says, uncovered by Checkpoint researcher Sagi Saik, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry, and first reported by to Microsoft by Checkpoint through a disclosure program on May 19th. So this is, they kind of knew about this for a while. The vulnerability is being patched in July's Tuesday update. We already know that. And it's been assigned a CVSS score of 10, which is severity score, the highest possible. I don't know what percentage of vulnerabilities get a 10 out of 10, but apparently it's pretty bad. The SIGRED vulnerability exists. This is explaining how this thing works. Exists in the way the DNA, Windows DNS server parses an incoming DNS query and how it parses a response to a forwarded DNS query. If an attacker can successfully trigger it with a malicious DNS query, they can trigger a heap-based buffer overflow, and we'll come back to this in a second, a buffer overflow basically means you send information to the computer through some command and you send too much information. You're sending too much, more than what the computer is expecting, and the RAM will basically assign, it has a amount of RAM 
assigned for what is expected in this command. If you send too much of what is expected in the command, it'll basically sometimes overflow if there are no protections into other parts of the memory that may be used for other things. And then, so if you were to add a malicious script in addition to the legitimate command, and then the operating system puts that malicious script into other parts of the memory because it overflowed where it's not supposed to be, then it might be executed where it's not supposed to be. And then that can do all sorts of stuff depending on where it is. So this is another explanation. In other words, a buffer overflow occurs when a program or process attempts to write more data to a fixed length block of memory or buffer than the buffer is allocated to hold. Since buffers are created to contain a defined amount of data, the extra data can overwrite data values in memory addresses adjacent to the destination buffer unless that program includes sufficient bounds checking to flag or discard data when too much memory is sent to the buffer. You guys can let me know in the comments which explanation you think is better. This one is probably more concise, but well, I don't know. Anyway, so now you know what a buffer overflow is, maybe. And it says, so this can trigger a buffer overflow, which will in turn let them take control of the server and feign domain administrator rights. So basically full control of the server. This makes it possible for them to intercept and manipulate email and network traffic, compromise services and harvest credentials, among other things. So the DNS server basically tells computers where it should send data. And it basically converts different IP addresses or converts domains to IP addresses. So say you type into Google, google.com in your browser, you that request will be sent to a DNS server that says, oh, this person wants google.com. Well, google.com is attached to this string of IP, this IP address number. And then the computer uses that string to actually send the request. So obviously, if you are able to, the metaphor would be take over the post office, you're getting everyone's mail in, and then you can just send it wherever you want. So if they're sending checks and money, you're basically taking over all the traffic, essentially. Critically, SIGRED is wormable, meaning that a single exploit can cause a chain reaction allowing attacks to spread through a network without any action on the part of the user. In effect, one single compromised machine becomes a super spreader. A DNS server breach is a critical issue. Most of the time, it puts the attacker just one inch away from breaching the entire organization. There are only a handful of these vulnerabilities, vulnerability types ever released. I didn't really know about that. Every organization, big or small, using Microsoft infrastructure is a major is at a major security risk if this flaw is left unpatched, uh, the lead of Checkpoint Vulnerability Research Team says. The risk would be a complete breach of the entire corporate network. My God, this vulnerability has been in Microsoft code for more than 17 years. So if we found it, it's not impossible to assume that someone else already found it as well. Yeah, no kidding. Checkpoint is strongly advising Windows users to patch their affected servers as soon as possible. Obviously, if you have a home version of Windows, Windows Pro for your workstation, your regular computer, and it's not a server, obviously you still want to update and there's updates automatically that come through Patch Tuesday. But if you have a server, even if it's just one you have sitting in your closet or something and you just use it for hobby projects, and you haven't updated it in a while, now would not be a bad time. It says, as previously noted, a fix is being made available today as part of the latest Patch Tuesday update. And this guy says that the likelihood of SIGRED being exploited at some point in the next week was very high, as his team had been able to find all the primitives required to take advantage of it, suggesting it would be easy for a determined hacker to do the same. And this is why I always say, update your operating system, update your software as soon as you can. The security updates, at least. I'm not necessarily talking about the feature updates for Windows, but the security updates you should never delay, because once they're released, once they're patched, that means that hackers are gonna know about this, and and they know how to exploit it because the patch is out there. So they're going to be rushing to try and take advantage of this while they can, while people are not updating right away. So they might only have a few days to do it. They're going to try and take advantage of that. Furthermore, uh, did we miss anything? You know, furthermore, our findings show us that no matter how secure we think we are, there are always more security issues waiting to be discovered. We're calling the vulnerability SIG red and we believe it should be a top priority for remedying. Yes, I agree, I would think, based on what I'm reading. 
this isn't just another vulnerability patch now to stop the next cyber pandemic. So they seem to be saying that this is a huge deal. Now, you have to understand that this is coming from the organization that discovered it. And of course, you know, they may be trying to overhype how bad it is, or at least they may be trying to make it seem like maximum badness, because obviously that gives more uh, notification, not notification, more alert you know what I'm talking about. A lot of people are going to be more looking at this company and be aware of it now that they released a patch that is hugely uh, important. And he says, Bes besides applying this patch immediately, Checkpoint detailed a workaround to block the attack, which goes thus. So you just do this CMD command. I wouldn't worry about this unless you're actually running a Windows server and you can just run the patch the automatic update anyway. So yeah, this is I was more of just an interesting read, I think. So this is not something you really have to worry about because again, it's mostly for servers. But obviously, you know, this is a good reminder. You may as well update Windows anyway and get any others, any other uh, vulnerabilities that were in this list. There's a whole list of these little vulnerabilities that may have been in Windows. You look, the update stack, the shell, the kernel. So it seems like a big deal. And it probably is that there's this many but anyway, we don't have to be scared. Just update Windows and you'll be fine. So let me know down in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe. I'm going to try and definitely post more often on this channel. I'm going to try and maybe do most days of the week, maybe even daily. We'll see if there's something worth talking about. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.